Yeah, my name is Luis Mendonça. I am a veterinarian, uh, part of the Ruminant Technical Services team with Merck Animal Health. And when we think about efficiency in dairies, we have to think about heat stress, because that's really going to be impacting how cows are going to be performing and how much milk we're going to be able to get from those cows. If we're not providing the right heat abatement to our dairy cows, we're definitely going to be impacting the bottom line and we're going to be impacting the health of cows. So some key areas that we have to consider in heat stress in, in our dairy farms, first one is the holding pen. We can really concentrate our efforts to the holding pen by providing evaporative cooling. So providing water, soakers, and then putting fans as well so we can dissipate the heat from our cows. When we think about our dry cows, in the last two to three weeks uh, before calving, that's when cows are gonna be producing colostrum. So if we're not providing heat abatement to these cows, we're gonna be impacting the production of colostrogenesis, which might impact the calf by the time that we have to feed them. And also, it's gonna be impairing that mammary gland to be ready to produce milk when it comes time to, for the next lactation. And there are different ways that we can evaluate that. It's basically looking at respiration rate of cows, we can actually monitor their temperature if needed. And the very interesting part is technology. We're seeing more technology in the dairy industry. And one really interesting part is monitoring technology in the individual level. Uh, there are several devices out there. One of them is the AllFlex monitoring technology. Uh, that's part of Mark Animal Health. And that way we can actually monitor their percentage of cows that are breathing heavily. When we provide some heat abatement to cows, the percentage of cows that are gonna be breathing heavily is gonna decrease significantly. It's really gonna allow us to determine, do we need to invest more or is this efficient? Is this enough for us to provide the best environment to the cows? The reality is it doesn't matter where dairymen are in the US, they're gonna be having problems with heat stress. So when we think about efficiency, Heat stress is going to be impacting all the areas that we, we think about efficiency and we want to improve in a dairy to be profitable. 